We gotta think about this. They just spotted a blue Cherokee. They're not even sure that it's her yet. Yeah, well, I want to see for myself. We gotta take a look at this. They can handle this. Listen, Elliot, you just stay on the horn and tell them they better handle this. But what if it's not Lauren? All right, George, let's go. Take it up. Yes, sir. Ross, this is Elliot. Do you read me? Ross, this is Elliot. Come in. Ross, do you read me? Yeah, okay, okay, Elliot, we read you. Uh, you're breaking up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's, what's your location? Uh, Heading to Hills Road. She's right in front of us. All right, we're on our way. Okay, okay, I got that. Okay, uh, we're holding here about 50 yards back. Let me know when you want us to move. Elliot? Elliot, you got that? Stay with her. We lost sight of her. She moved in front of a bus. They lost her, sir. They what? What are these your boys, Elliot? George, get this thing down so I can see what's on the road. Okay, there she is. I see her. I see her down there. We got her on Hidden Hills Annex. Put us down. Land it. There's no place to land. Find a place. Yes, sir. Ross, stay with her. We're going to look for a place to bring her down. Stay on her. You got it, Elliot. Bring it down. Bring it down. Right down there. Cut her off. Right in front of her. It's not her. It's not Lauren. Who are you? You got the wrong person here. Miss, I'm... I'm terribly sorry. Give us some money. be cash or charge? Charge. I'm sorry, make it cash. Water. Thanks. That'll be twenty dollars. Okay. I'm sorry, all I have is a hundred. Whoa. <laughs> we don't see many of these around here. Oh. You're gonna take all my cash. Oh, I'm sorry. How far to the interstate? Going west. About a half hour down there. Thank you.
Hi. Could I see the obituaries for the first three months of 1950? That's on microfilm. I'm here to pick up a copy of my birth certificate. My name is Jennifer Hartman. Just a minute, I'll check. Here you go. Thanks. You've never had a social security card before? No. Nope. Never had a job? No, I guess I've just been lucky up till now. <laughs> I'll see. Go to window one. Next. Dough, but there's rich, and then there's rich. <laughs> I know. Rick LaSalle's a major, major player. I guess that's why you jack up his bills. Hey, hey. Rick and I go back a long time. With all the things I've investigated for him, I know where all the bodies are buried. Besides, he doesn't mind paying for the best. <laughs> So, Mr. Seal is here. Anything else? Why, well, Rick, Jack. Hello, Ray. I've got something I'd like you to do for me. <laughs> it's funny. I told Lauren I hadn't heard from you in a while, and what do you know? When did you see Lauren? Oh, about a week ago, mm. in my office. What the hell was she doing in your office? She wanted to know how you find someone who's disappeared. She what? Said she had an uncle who disappeared years ago. Said she often wondered how he did it and how to find him. What did you tell her? Basic skip trace stuff. Like what? How people set up a new ID off the obituaries. No appearance, no habits. No connection with anybody they knew before. What's going on, Rick? She skipped, along with two million dollars. <sighs> Never figured that. What else did you tell her? Uh, quite a bit. Car changes. Uh, live one place, get mail another, visible means of support, laundering money through the stock market. Well, Ray, you gave my wife everything she needs to know to steal from me and to get away with it. What would you have done in my place, Rick? What kind of a businessman would it be if I refused to talk to the wife of one of my best clients? From now on, I'm your only client. Do you understand that? Now, you better find her, Ray, and you better find her fast. spokesman said officers fired a total of 16 shots. The suspect was dead on arrival at Indianapolis Memorial Hospital. Yeah, so your brother's top sales team is ready to make a deal for you. The best financing in town, we guarantee it. We will not be undersold. Who's your brother's best price monthly bottle bed? Football in Oklahoma City last night, Midwest City Bombers defeating Northwest Class in 37. 
This next recipe for corn muffins comes from a lady in Tulsa. Uh, we tried this recipe and I can tell you Adley, all the freeways are great clear this morning, so you folks out there have got no excuses for being late for work this morning. Huh? What's the temperature? Hi. I was wondering if I could get an appointment today. Oh, uh, yes, I can take you. Oh, thank you. My name's Veronica. What Hi, can Veronica. I do for you? Well, I want kind of a drastic change. Oh, your hair is just beautiful. Thank you, but I think I'd like to change the color. Oh, sure. Come on in. We'll, we'll look at the chart. What All were you right. thinking of? Well, I'm not sure. I'd like to look at maybe some colors. Okay, let me change these. You sit down. I'll get the chart. Thank you. I knew this guy in college used to sell hot dogs. And if some customer was starting to be pushy, giving him a hard time, what he would do is he'd take his finger and he'd stick it in a hot dog roll like this. Mm -hmm. He'd slap a little mustard and onions on it. He'd wrap a napkin around the whole thing and he'd, he'd hand it to the guy like this. Pull his finger out, wipe it off very quickly on his apron. Now the guy, he's trying to get back through the crowd. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. He gets out there, looks down. <gasps> Empty bun. Did he ever get caught? <sighs> nah. <clears throat> Uh-huh. I knew you wanted that. Then why'd you throw it? Ugh. Archie. Archie was his name. Very unlucky guy. Oh, poor Archie. Poor Rick. You'll be sorry about this one. Jim. You know what that means. Mm, what took you so long? All I got left is my bottom. Is I win. We both win. Oh. Come here. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Marcy, look at Daddy. Look at Daddy. There we go. <laughs> Good. I think you're gonna like this picture. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you guys. You have to work all day? Yeah. No, it's okay. I have meetings all day, too. Oh, I love you. Go to Daddy. Go to Daddy. Come on, baby. Whoa. <laughs> I'll see you later. Oh, thank you, Billy. That's all right. It's all right. Okay. Good, good. Do that again. Give it to me. Tease me. Uh-huh. Oh, you do look radiant, Laura. Oh, well, I'm in love. Oh, I know. I couldn't do this with lighting. Good. All right, turn a little bit. All right, tease me. Give it to me. Okay. Give me a little turn. Turn a little bit. Yeah, wonderful. Great. Everybody, come on, let's go. Over to the doorway. Oh, We're great. going. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Oh, that was really Her good. Was I mean, the look down on that. It's beautiful. You got it? Yeah, Fix her up over here. Come on. Oh, together. Thank you. <laughs> well, yes, it, it, it is very nice if I do say so myself. Oh, and you always do say so yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, soon you'll see it on hundreds of magazine covers. Meanwhile, these folks love the door thing. They do. Yeah, they love it so much they want to do it bigger. So we're going to knock off early, and we'll shoot it bigger tomorrow. In the morning? Right. Home early. Oh, right. Thanks. This looks good. This looks great. Yeah. yeah I like it. Oh, you're Rex. 
Kuhn, I see. Yeah, can I have a kiss? Mm-hmm. <laughs> is she a good girl? Oh, she's been such a good girl all day. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. Mommy kissed a raccoon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, where are we? I found some of Mr. LaSalle's favorite truffles. I think you ought to put them in the refrigerator. I will. Okay. I'll see you later, sweetheart. Have a fine day. Bye bye. <laughs> Just over the hill, 3,700 foot blacktop, about three minutes from the house. Anything else you want to know? Your own airfield, Senor Lasan. You want to land a JFK? <laughs> He's kidding. You're guaranteeing flake pasting, no less than 93%. I can't move it otherwise. Guaranteed. And you're invited to visit the fields at your convenience. I'm not Senor interested Lassan. in your farm, just the crop. Rick, you don't have to grill this guy like he's some kind of mule. You can trust him. When I'm spending $2 million on cocaine, I'm not about to trust anyone. Darien, we understand we're not, uh, we're not offended. It is business. Correct, Senor LaSalle? I want you to be sure of just one thing. If everything does not go exactly as planned, you will be put out of business permanently. We are not here to waste your time, Senor LaSalle. And we hope you're not wasting ours. Did you know Esteban Lopez? Not personally, no. But uh, you knew of him, I assume? Si, Senor. We knew of him. He tried to get greedy with me. Now he's dead. We will deliver exactly what we say. I'm sure you will. Good day. Hey, let me uh, walk you to your car. That will not be necessary. Do we have the money? Yeah, it's right here. Right. Well, you're walking around with $2 million like it's your lunch? Well, the place is a damn fortress. Who's going to walk in and take it away from me? Is it counted? Yep, all there. Better be. My butt's on the line for this. Put it in the safe. Right. Can I get you a cup of coffee or anything? No. Don't worry. I'm going to make a call. Don't worry about anything. Lauren? Lauren? Where are you, honey? What are you doing home? I thought you were working all day. Mm. My afternoon shoot was canceled. Are you all right? Who are those men? What men? The man who came in the jag. Oh, uh, just business? No big deal? Why are you lying to me? I heard the whole conversation. Rick, how long have you been doing this? Doing what? Cocaine. Oh, no, Laura, no, wait, wait, wait a minute. It's not what you think. Really? Wait, what is it then? Talk to me. No, 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 later. When you're not so upset. Now! Uh, listen. I sell cocaine. Big deal. The government sells guns to terrorists. You tell me, which is worse? What else haven't you told me, Rick? Don't, don't let this thing come between us. It's just business. You're everything to me. Why, you want me to get down on my knees? I want you to quit. It's not so simple. Why not? You can do it. We have plenty of everything, don't we? Yes, and we also have a very high overhead. You have no idea what it costs to keep this whole thing going. Rick, I make a lot of money, and it's clean money. I want you to quit. Don't, don't tell me how to live my life. And I'm not about to start letting my wife support me. That makes perfect sense. We have Marcy. We have each other. We've got a lot of money. You're making a big thing out of this thing. You don't understand. What? What don't I understand? It's not going to happen. As simple as that. Look, you're getting all excited here. You're getting all nervous. This isn't right. Why don't you go upstairs, take a bath, huh? Just calm down, relax. We'll talk about this tomorrow. 
I'm leaving and I'm taking Marcy with me. You're not going anywhere. You're my wife. Marcy's my daughter. Who the hell do you think you're talking to here anyway? I don't know. Who am I talking to? Who is my husband? I don't want Marcy growing up in a dope dealer's home. Now it's up to you. It's your decision. You either quit or we leave. I can't live like this. You can live any way you like, for all I care. Just don't think that you are ever taking my daughter away from me. She is my daughter, too. Now, we can be civilized about this, or I'll get a lawyer. Ah, uh, Lauren, Lauren, I love you, but I am warning you, don't cross me on this. If you file against me, or if you try to take Marcy away, it's all over for you, right then and there. Are you threatening me? <laughs> Lauren, I, I, I don't understand. You're acting crazy here. You're all having some kind of a breakdown or something. You're gonna act crazy. I'm gonna have to treat you like you're crazy. You have no idea the number of operations that I've got, the number of people that, that owe me consideration. I've got half a hospital, a private hospital down in the Maranek. If you go to a lawyer or try to steal my daughter away from her home, I'd have no choice but to have you committed for observation, for treatment, could take a long time. Very long time. Morning, ma'am. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where is Deborah? They told me she had to leave. The little girl and I are getting along just fine, ma'am. You needn't worry yourself about her. I'm taking care of everything from now on. The less you have on your mind, the quicker you'll be feeling better, believe me. I'll do that. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Lasalle, your agent called. They want to know why you're not at your photo session. I'm not going. What do you want me to tell them? Anything. Tell them Mrs. Lasalle isn't feeling well. Yes, sir. Not feeling well? Well, I have to go into the city for a couple hours. Anything you need? No. Anything you want? No. You feeling any better? No. I think it's time for Marcy to take a little nap.
little sweet. Yeah. 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 Y
bit. <laughs> and the view comes with Rome. Oh. <laughs> I'll take it. Are you sure you want to live here? Yes, why? Well, it's none of my business, but you're young and very pretty and, well, most of the people here are older and it's a quiet building and, well, I just wasn't sure you'd be happy with that. It's just what I'm looking for. Well, we ask for first and last and security deposit. Okay. I'd like to move in today. Oh, well, I'll just go get the papers ready. Next. Stand on the red line, please. Okay. Okay. Right thumb, please. What for? Thumbprint. Do I have to? You have something against it? Next, you'll be wanting x-rays. Next. Without the money, how the hell are we going to do the deal? Don't worry about the damn deal. We can raise the cash. I'd have given her anything. I loved her, Jack. Yeah, so you let her run off with her two million bucks. Oh, no, no. We're going to find her. We're going to make her give the money back. She's going to give everything back. So you want to place $43,000 in tax-free municipal bonds? Mm -hmm. Well, we can make the buy today, but they're not likely to move very much. I think you might want to consider something that will give you a higher yield. I'd like my money safe, not speculative. And you want to pay for it with six different checks, Ms. Hartman, on six different banks. Do you mind if I call you Jennifer? You know, I know that may sound silly to you, but my ex-husband never trusted banks. He always said, spread your money around. Are you thinking of making this a long-term investment? Well, I'm not sure. Since my separation, my life's been very confusing. I've never been on my own before. I'll be careful. Thank you. You're a very attractive woman. Open a new account. Mr. Reed, this is Vern Spano at Three C's Credit. Our client has authorized us to go to court for a judgment on the outstanding account we've discussed with you. Can we please hear from you, sir? <clears throat> Mr. Reed, this is Hal Clayton at Van Nuys Credit Bureau. Uh, you're 120 days past due, sir, so I think you can give us a call about this. Uh, we don't want to have to go to court on it. Thanks. Hi, Dad. They're letting me call from the camp office. I miss you. I learned how to swim yesterday, but I got bit by a wood tick last night, and they had to give me a shot. I didn't cry, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uncle Ralph said I get to go on the overnight because he got the check-in time. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Bye. Mr. Reed, this is Joanne Garnish with... Chris Hello. Hey. Are you Mr. Reed? Who wants to know? 
Well, I'd like to learn to fly. Any particular reason? Yeah, my dad has a plane, so I thought I'd surprise him. Mm, poor little rich girl syndrome, eh? What's that supposed to mean? That means that I get a lot of people, they come in here, they take a couple of lessons they can't handle, and I gotta give them their money back. Well, judging from your machine, you don't get too many. You're right. Don't get any. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, got a breakout in Arizona. Your Jeep turned up in Phoenix, and that's... that's as far as the evidence goes. You think she's still in Phoenix? Uh... Oh. No, I think she's in L.A. She hates L.A. Well, that's the idea. I told the smart people skip to places where no one would expect them to go. And big cities, where it's easier to disappear. If she followed my game plan, took my advice, I've got the poor girl right where I want her. Well, you're a real slimy guy, Ray. Thanks. All right, get moving, Ray. I wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for you. Ray, come on. You told her how to get lost. Now you go and find her. And find her fast. I'll be talking to you, Rick. Yeah. Get something, Ray. We're talking about $2 million here. I don't like that guy. I'm glad you got rid of him. How about getting rid of this? Yeah. Hey. Less aileron and more rudder. Right rudder. Right rudder. Right, right. Your right foot. Hey, your okay, other right okay. foot. Whoever said this is as easy as learning to drive a car as an imbecile? That was me. Oh, sorry. All right, now you want to fly level at all times, all right? So what did I say? Keep your wingtips on the horizon. Keep it level. Yes. Keep your nose up. So it's important to fly level. Remember what I told you about the trim? Uh-huh. So you don't have so much pressure on the yoke? Yeah, of course. The yoke. What's your altitude? Oh. Oh, I'm low. Yeah. You dropped 600 feet in the last two minutes. You keep that up and we'll land in those mountains over there. Bring your nose up and add power. You gotta concentrate. I mean... You know, basically an airplane will fly itself, but uh, I mean, you have to you have to have a little confidence. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. Level off, level off. Are you married? No. Boyfriend? No, no, no. Do you have to know all this to teach me to fly? Right rudder. Okay. Right. Rudder, right. Right. Damn, what am I doing wrong? Nothing, everything, I don't know. Let, relax, let me take it. Relax. Excuse me, Mr. LaSalle. You said to bring her in before a nap. Yes, I did. Hello, Marcy. <laughs> Hello, baby. Daddy's little girl. Hmm? Hi, Daddy's Mom. little girl. Is she pretty? Hmm? She's beautiful, hmm. just like her mommy. I told you not to talk about her. She's all you ever talk about. Okay. Good night, baby. Come on. Good night. Ew. Bye. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look, she stole money from me. Well, honestly, Rick, what do you expect? You kept your whole life a total secret from her. She didn't need to know. Are you kidding? She was your wife. Hmm. Where is it written that a wife is supposed to know all about her husband's business? Well, it depends on the business. Rick, for God's sakes. Most models looking for successful husbands don't usually have wise guys in mind. Hey, watch your mouth. She was very naive. Naive? How naive can you be to steal two million dollars? We both know that she was trying to take the baby when they stopped her. The money was probably for Marcy, and she probably had no idea how much was in the suitcase. Whose side are you on here, anyway? Yours. 
course, I'm on your side, darling. It's just that she was always very nice to me, and anybody can understand how a mother feels about her own baby. Are you trying to tell me something here? I mean, are you trying to tell me that maybe I should let her have Marcy? Well, it might make things work out a lot better. <gasps> Never. Oh, I've had the check prepared. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, no trouble. Just a little peculiar. I'm sorry. My lawyers recommended I put my money in an apartment building. Real estate's always good. You know, a suspicious person might think that you were laundering money. What? I don't understand. Taking a bunch of small checks, written on new accounts, and turning them into one big check. I don't know anything about that. This is all new to me. I wouldn't think badly of you for a moment, Miss Harper. In any case, here's the check. $43,000. Less commission. You know, your face is really familiar. I know I've seen you somewhere before. At first, I thought maybe I'd passed you in the neighborhood, but you just moved here. Oh, do you know that I just have one of those faces? People are always saying they think they've met me before. I wish we had. Are you sure I haven't seen you on the news or something? Positive. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Got a blank check to put more men on it. Rick's really riding me hard on this one. There aren't any more men, Ray. We got every skip tracer from New Mexico to the West Coast on the payroll right now. Look, these little counties are computerized. We got to check every new birth certificate personally, then no obituaries. It takes time. How much time? A week, two weeks, maybe more. Not good enough. Look, what the hell do you want me to do? You know what this work is like. Get me 500 copies of Lauren's picture and go out to L.A. tonight. Pick me up at the airport tomorrow and have some good runners ready to roll. You got that? I got it. I'll need 1,500 in cash, put it on Rick's account, and change my ticket. Make it first class. Could I ask you something? What are they going to do to her when they find her? Don't ask dumb questions. You gotta learn to feel the aircraft. I'm doing better, huh? A little, yeah, maybe. I mean, usually after this many lessons, people are a lot further along. Maybe you're one of those who just wasn't meant to fly an airplane. Well, maybe not, but I'm going to learn. You said it yourself. Anybody can learn. Yeah, well, maybe I was wrong. Okay, um, we're just going to try a shallow right turn. Okay. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, it's easy! <laughs> Come on, you've got to keep your nose on the horizon! You can't use that much rudder! If I were you, I would take up tennis, golf, maybe polo, anything, but flying is definitely not for you. I am going to learn. Well, if you're going to learn, you're going to learn from somebody else, because I'm way too young to die. Charlie, please. Come on, you don't get it. I mean, you can't even fly this thing. Pretty soon you're going to have to land it. You're so tense, you can't see straight. You can't fly a plane like that, like you're stuck in traffic or something. You gotta relax. What's going on with you, anyway? I don't know what's going on with you. I mean, I thought your job was to teach people how to fly. Yeah, well, look, just find another instructor and everything will be fine, all right? I don't want another instructor. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't have time. Well, make time. It's better than some permanent address in the middle of the desert somewhere, right? Oh, Charlie, just give me another chance. And I promise if it doesn't work out, then I'll quit. Please. This isn't right. This, this is, I want to do it again. I want to do the whole thing again. And hurry up.
Oh, wow. Take a look at it. Here you go. Mm -hmm. All right, quiet. Listen up. I want these circulated at every bank and brokerage house in Los Angeles. Everyone. There's a five thousand dollar reward for information that leads me to her. Oh, Got it? Got it. Yeah, yeah right. Sir. Any questions? No, no sir. No, no, sir. That's clear. Divide up your areas and get going. Right, Jimmy. All right, let's go. Over here. Where's your part? I got a few ideas. Let me see. Roger, 5, Victor, X-ray, uh, light, we have you on visual, you're clear to land. Roger, 5, Victor, X-ray. Okay, go ahead, we're cleared to land. Okay. Easy now, gently down. Come on, come on, you're all over the sky. Point the airplane like a rifle, aim it. Okay, bring your nose up now. Bring your nose up and cut your power back. Okay. Cut back on your power slowly. Slowly. Mm -hmm. Slowly. We do not want to stall. Just pretend that the runway is a road and you're driving down a ramp toward it. All right, a little bit less throttle. A little bit less throttle. Let your nose down a hair. Let your nose down. It's sinking too fast. I'm so sorry. Don't ever again fly anything bigger than a kite for as long as you live. startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, what a beautiful baby. She's my granddaughter. Really? Uh -huh. What's her name? Miss Phoebe. Miss Phoebe. Hello, Miss Phoebe. Oh, look at those blue eyes. Is this your baby? Huh? Here, you want to hold her? Marcy, but my husband has her now and he won't give her back to me. And I tried to take her away and, and they stopped me and they threatened me. I just have to get her back. I have to. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not making any sense, am I? I just please forget what I said. Don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, now, honey, don't you worry about me. The important thing is that you get your baby back. Now, don't you give up. I won't. That's a girl. Well, there's a certain person who's hungry, so I guess we better be going, but are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm going to be fine. I'm sorry. Okay. You sure? Fine. Okay. Come on, darling. Charlie. 
What do you want, Trish? I could use a little help. A couple hundred bucks. Oh, come on. I know you got the alimony check, and you're working besides. Well, you know, waitressing is not real regular. I really need it. All right. Thank you. This is made out to the save more. Yeah, and I'm going to give him a buzz and make sure you spend it on food, not booze. Remember food. That stuff you put in your mouth, uh, it's good for you. Got your pen. Charlie? Oh, not you too. Who was that? Who was who? That that was my wife, my ex-wife. Oh. Uh, Charlie, I've got a business offer for you. I think you no, might well, be interested. No, wait. Nothing. Nothing could get me into business with you. Not this time, sweetheart. Not even fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Let's go get some coffee. You're talking about kidnapping. She's my own daughter, my child. It's still kidnapping. It's not kidnapping. He's horrible. We're rescuing her. Why don't you just divorce him? If he's as bad as you say he is, they'll give you custody. If he's as bad as you say he is. He's as bad as I say he is. Charlie, I'm afraid of him. I'm afraid of what he might do to us. Us? Marcy and me. Well, let's say you get away with it. What's to keep him from coming after you and taking her back? He's never going to find me. I'm going to just disappear. How so? Change my name, change my whole life. Well, are you going to go through life with a different identity, never being able to trust another human being? I'd do anything to keep him away from her. What about the police? <laughs> that wouldn't stop Rick. I know that now. Why an airplane? Well, we'd never make it out of there in a car, but in a plane, we could outrun him. See, on the ground, I'm a sitting duck. Are you going to help me? No, uh, all I have to do for $50,000 is fly the plane. Better you than me, don't you think? <laughs> I should say. I don't think I trust you. Does it matter for $50,000? Yeah, it matters. I like to know what I'm walking into. $50,000 is a lot of money. You talk about it like it's nothing but a bunch of loose change. I don't know if that doesn't mean that you're somebody important. Or if you're not using this to cover up doing something really rotten. I'd like to know if I'm on the right side. Charlie, I'm telling you the truth. My name is Jennifer Hartman, and I'm nobody. Just a mother who wants her baby back. Charlie, I don't know what to say to you anymore. You're my last chance. They'll be bringing Marcy back to the city soon, and then it'll be too late. You're a father. Think about your son. Wouldn't you do anything for him? Half the money up front. <laughs> All right. License and registration, please. I do have a license. It just doesn't seem to be here. I guess I must have left it at home. Oh, I'm new here, and I, I just got it, and, and I don't know what happened to it. Name? Are you going to arrest me? Name? Hartman. Jennifer Hartman. Address? 606 Lytel. That's in Venice, isn't it? Yes, I think so. Wait here, Miss Hartman. Nine Mary 17, requesting frequency for one.
Nine marriage, 17, Roger. Everything checks out, Miss Hartman, but you were doing 43 and a 35. Since you're new in town, I'm only giving you a warning ticket this time. Okay, I'll go right home and get my license. Haven't I seen your face before? Everybody says that. Well, welcome to California. Drive safely. What do you want, Ray? I've got a lot of money. I'll give you whatever you want. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, you suck at me once, not again. You don't know what Rick is really like. He's dangerous, Ray. He won't even let me have my own baby back. I'm a skip trace on you, not a marriage counselor. You were lost, now you found Rick gets you back, and I'm a hero. You're not taking me back to that house. No problem there. Rick's back in the city now. And Marcy? Oh, they're closing up the house. They'll be bringing her back to town in a couple of days. Is she all right? I wouldn't worry about Marcy. Rick's not about to let anything happen to his little girl. Where are you going? Well, I thought I'd get something to drink. Do you mind? Give me one, too. How'd you find me? I knew you'd be using the stock market to loan your money, so I circulated your picture. <laughs> your pal, a stockbroker, dropped a dime for the reward. <laughs> Lauren. the rush he's gonna move her i think this might be my last chance see we could still make the late flight back east that'd get us into plattsburgh sometime tomorrow night i think this is it uh i found out that uh rick hasn't been back to our house much since i left so this might even be easier than i thought oh yeah we could phone ahead maybe they could whip up a box lunch for uh, the flight out i've been thinking you're not still in love with this guy are you no why do we have to go through this now? You just have to trust me, Charlie. Yeah, I do. It's really what it comes down to, doesn't it? Want to buy a bathroom scale that talks? Would you just forget about this junk? Come on, I'm thinking, Jennifer. I mean, somebody that's going to disappear for the rest of their life would never really tell anybody who they were, would they? Oh, come on, Charlie. Let's not get into this. I thought we were partners. Okay. Okay, partner. Okay. Hey, 
Cheer up, man. This is the one we needed, Rick. We're gonna be back in the black. I don't know, this lore and nonsense is history, right? What, do you think I should let her get away with what she did to me? <laughs> you know, maybe she did you a favor. She took you to court, she probably could have done better than two million bucks. Maybe I'll go out to L.A., hook up with Seal, find out what the hell he's doing out there. Now? Over four million bucks is going to be changing hands. You can't leave town. Jack, you can take care of this by yourself, can't you? You don't need me here. Look, if this deal doesn't go down right, that's checkmate, pal. They're going to be coming after us like we're target practice. Oh, Rick. Rick, you know I'm loyal to you, right? I mean, what, whatever you say goes, but please... I'm asking you as your longtime friend, please don't tell me I'm going to lose my share of four million bucks over a domestic squabble. I want to make her pay. You can't just walk out on something like that, Rick. We're in too deep. Rick, please, just do, do us both a favor. Just wait. Wait until the deal is done. Rick, please. All right, I'll wait till the deal's done. What are you talking about? They don't have any snow. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, this is great. Well, let's go there. Right off front, honey. The whole tour? Yeah, let's go there. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, are you folks staying along? Just one night. Uh, you please fill that out. I'll ring for Bellman. Thank you. The estate is north of Lake Placid. I've already arranged for a plane at the Plattsburgh Field. They'll give you whatever you want. Now, the airstrip of the house is 36.5 nautical miles from the field. Flying south-southwest at an airspeed of about 100 knots, your flight time ought to be 20 minutes. <laughs> Maybe I did teach you something after all. Well, this stuff's not so hard. Anybody could learn it. What'd you do before you got married? I worked in a publishing house. Why? Just curious. From the time I get to the front gate, I'll need 15 minutes to drive around to the airstrip fence, park, go back to the house, get Marcy, and meet you on the runway. Charlie, we have to time this exactly. I'll go through the front gate at 1.45. That means you have to land at precisely 2 o'clock. What do you do when they figure all this out and they come after you? Well, I get any kind of head start, I can outrun them. If I don't make it out of the house, I want you to look out for yourself. Give me a couple minutes, then take off. <laughs> you really all that tough, Jennifer? Well, I wouldn't want to get into a brawl with your ex-wife. Well, she was drunk and fearless. <laughs> what does she do? She serves tourist lobsters in Santa Monica, but mostly she drinks. That's why my boy's with me. I don't want to raise him that way. Is that why you're helping me, Charlie? No, I'm helping you for the money. But if we weren't doing all of this for your kid, I wouldn't be helping you at all. Good night. Charlie? I'll bet you're a really good dad. I just do what I have to do. And I'll bet you're a really good mom. Good night. One sixty-four fifty. I think it's going to clear up later on. Be a really nice day. What are you doing? Resigning. You can't do that. Oh, watch me. But why? Why? Somehow I get the feeling I'm in over my head here. What are you talking about? Look familiar? Here's your money back. Find some other sucker. 
So I'm a model. So what? What does that mean? What does it mean? It means you've been lying to me. You've been feeding me a line. I don't know whether it starts or stops. I don't want to have anything to do with it. Wait, Charlie. I know I've been lying to you, but I just did it to protect Marcy. Well, I'm just doing this to protect myself. Oh, please help me, Charlie. Help you? I don't even know who you are. Okay. All right. My name's not Jennifer Hartman. Oh, really? It's Lauren. Lauren LaSalle. Go on, Lauren. And you're right. This could be dangerous. Okay, all of it. Let's have all of it, Lauren. Rick, my husband, is a cocaine dealer. Oh, I didn't know it before I married him, Charlie. I, I just found out right before I left. That's why I left. Is he mob? Is he connected? I don't know. You don't know. Oh, Charlie, I'm sorry. Here, keep the money, okay? I'll figure something out. I'll do it myself if I have to. But I'm not giving up until I get her back. No more lies. Say it. No more lies. Now, the approach ought to be pretty simple. You fly in over those trees. If everything goes according to plan, you shouldn't be on the ground for more than five minutes. No problem, senor. There better not be any problem. Now, this deal comes off this afternoon, or it doesn't come off at all, you understand? What about the local authorities, senor LaSalle? <laughs> senor LaSalle takes very good care of the local authorities. Mr. LaSalle, telephone, Mr. Seal, Los Angeles. Yeah. I thought you yeah, were yeah, yeah. City. Get to what the point, Ray. She's gone, Rick. She pulled a fast one. You, you had her and you let her go? No, I didn't let her you go. let a 110 pound girl she overpower. You kill me with a bottle, Rick. She really hurt. I, me. I don't care how badly you hurt. Just. Uh, I gotta come back home. Don't come I... back without her. Let's go. So we're at 700 feet, right? The hardest thing about any pre-flight is folding these maps back up. You made it. Yeah. I had to get all kinds of stuff for the baby. This is baby stuff? Yeah. Plane's all set. Great. Charlie? Yeah. If things had been different, I never would have lied to you. If things have been different, we never would have met. Two o'clock. I'll be coming through the airstrip gate at two o'clock. Two o'clock. I'll be there. Okay. Be careful, Charlie. Take care of this. Good luck.
Seven. Jack. No help. Jack bets. <laughs> Say anything. Now just be quiet. I knew at this, so I'd be scared if I were you. You're not gonna get away with this, you know. Listen, just get under the crib and, and count to a hundred. Get under there. Really? I'm serious. I just want my baby. I'm not afraid to use this. Go on. Come to mommy. Ooh. Hi, sweetheart. We're gonna have an adventure. Come on. Come on. Be real quiet. Real quiet, Marcy. Hey, Sally Ann! Where the hell are those sandwiches? Will you hold on? I'm coming. Service in this house stinks. Climb the stairs. You got it. I'm in. Yeah. Here hey. they come. Oh, about time. <coughs> hey. About time. says she's got a gun. Tell George to get the helicopter airborne. Here I am, sweetheart. Okay. Okay, Marcy, here we go. It's all right, sweetheart. It's gonna be okay. It's 
all right, sweetheart. We're gonna make it. Chopper's in the air. Chopper's with us. Come on, come on, Charlie. Come on, where are you? You got that rifle ready? Got it. Oh, Rick, we really got to go back. The Cubans are going to be landed any minute now. I mean, we don't want to be attracting attention. Come on! 
Now what, Rick? We go around. Rick! We gotta get back. I mean, those Cubans are gonna be landing any minute now, and we blow this deal, it's suicide! Don't talk to me! Afraid of me. I've been looking for you, Lauren. I missed you. Blonde, huh? It's beautiful. You remember when it used to be good, Lauren? You remember that? I mean, it used to be so good. Well, it could be good again. I made some mistakes, but you could forgive me, huh? You could forgive me, and then we could start over again, couldn't we? Come on, come on. What do you say, Charlie? <laughs>
Charlie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> 